want to know and how to play Nintendo Switch games into your PC, such as the all-new Sonic X Shadow Generations, if you are, then you can watch this guide and I'll teach you how. But before you follow this video tutorial, I need you to agree that you own a Nintendo Switch console, you own the hardware, and also the physical copy of Sonic X Shadow Generations. So if you agree to do this, then you can follow on the video tutorial now. So first of all, what you need is that you only need to have a copy of all these four files here. So these files are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware, which you got from your Nintendo Switch console, and it should be in version 19. You also need uh, the digital file copy of Sonic X Shadow Generations, which you dump from your physical copy of the game. And you also need the Ryujinx application, which is uh, the last and final build, version 1.11403. So this is how the application looks like. And as you can see here, I have Sonic X Shadow Generations. So uh, Ryujinx emulator will be able to play Switch games on this as long as you have installed the Nintendo Switch keys and Nintendo Switch firmware in Ryujinx emulator. So let us get Ryujinx emulator first. So let us open our browser and just type in Internet Archive in here. Archive.org is their official website. Click in that. Then go click in the search part, search box and type in um, Ryujinx emulator. Hit search. Then here in filters, we will need to change some settings here. Check on the software and the year, which is 2024. And then just look for version 1.1403. And then you can just download it from here. So this is how you usually get Ryujinx emulator now because Ryujinx emulator has been um, taken down by Nintendo. I cannot get them officially from their website. So get them. Uh, the emulator here because as you know Nintendo will just take them down later on so be sure to get them as fast as you can so I'm just gonna minimize this and I'm just gonna assume that you have the application so this is how the file will look like so all you have to do is just create a folder name it Ryujinx emulator and then just open this zip file and then just copy and paste all of these files inside and then just drag this into that folder and once you've done that We'll just run the ryujinx.exe file. So I'm just going to close this and I'm going to assume that you have open Ryujinx emulator. So the next step now is that we will need to install these other files here. So to get these files, the most legal way to do this is that you own a Nintendo Switch console, as I have said earlier, should own the hardware and that you have modded that Nintendo Switch and installed a custom firmware in it. Because if it has a custom firmware installed in it, that means that you can now fully access your Nintendo Switch and the system files. And once you have access on those system files, all you have to do is just look for all of the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware version 19, dump it and copy it into your PC. To get the game, there is no other way around this, but you should purchase the game legally. Own the physical cup of the game wherein you have purchased it from a physical store that will help the developers massively. So once you've done that, dump it into a digital file copy and then make it into an XEI or NSP file format. So for those who don't know how to get all of these files, because you don't know guys on how to dump um, or mod your Nintendo Switch console, and get these files here all you have to do now is just prepare a mobile phone but again be sure that you have a nintendo switch console and the game so prepare a mobile phone scan this qr code here with your qr code reader so that you'll be redirected to the page wherein you can get all of these files so once you are in the site be sure to take note of the files that i have highlighted here and get a copy of them get them into your phone and then just transfer them into your pc via usb cable and I'm just going to assume that you have already done that and that you have these four files now. So open Ryujinx emulator, then go to file, go to open Ryujinx folder, and then open system folder. Open the keys, zip file into desktop, and all you have to do is just copy the product keys and title keys inside, drag and drop them here. Once you're done, close in this. Then install the firmware file of the switch. So just go to tools, install firmware, install a firmware file, make the IRZ file, look it on the firmware file version, hit open, and we'll say sys. You'll have to install this version, hit yes, and we'll say successfully installed. You'll know that it's successful because right down here below it says version 19, and it's the same as our Nintendo Switch keys and Nintendo Switch firmware. And if you have Switch games already into your PC, Rujinx will be able to detect them now. 
and it will show you their game icon. So if you see game, this is have a game icon. That means that you're using an outdated firmware or an outdated key. So be sure to only follow the QR code that we have provided so that you'll get only the latest files. So as you can see here, I have Sonic X Shadow Generations here. It's a 15 GB file size. And to make this game run perfectly into our PC, we'll need to optimize our Ujinx emulator first. And to do this, just go to Options and go to Settings. And in this part, just be sure to pause the video and copy every setting that you see here. So these are my settings for the general tab. The game directories is where we will store our Switch games and it could be anywhere into our PC as long as it's in XCI or NSP file format. They go to input. I have connected my Nintendo Switch Pro controller. So if you have an Xbox or PlayStation controller or other controller, be sure to connect them here. Map them over to interlocking, but the dead zone for both left and right sticks, you should change those into point twenty so that there'll be no drifting into your playthrough, and be sure to check on the dock mode setting here. I go to keyboard hotkeys, no need to change here. System, just be sure to check vSync and FSA integrity checks. In CPU, PPTC, be sure to check that, and host unchecked is the setting here. Now go to graphics. So graphics backend is in Vulkan API. The preferred GPU is your dedicated graphics card. At least you have a GTX 1060 to play Switch games. Features and enhancements, you should enable shader cache and enable macro HLE. Resolution scale is in 2 times resolution so that the game will look sharper and much more beautiful than the native resolution of the Switch. But if your PC cannot handle that, then just revert back to the native resolution of the Switch. But if you have a powerful CPU and graphics card, you can go for 4K resolution here. Now go to anti-aliasing, as it may alter the setting or change this to none if you're having performance issues. Scaling filter, FSR and it's in 100% and isotropic filtering auto has big ratio 16 by 9 graphics back and multi threading should be on in audio audio backend is in sdl2 100% volume network if you want to play local multiplayer so these are the settings that you need to change and hit apply and hit ok congratulations your regions emulator is now fully optimized to run and play any nintendo switch games such as the all-new sonic x shadow generations so a little bit of disclaimer i'll not be able to show you guys the gameplay of this game running to my pc because we all know how strict nintendo has been lately they have taken down the very first nintendo switch emulator such as yuzu and they have also taken down Ujinx emulator so the progress of the nintendo switch emulation scene has been halted and I don't want to risk my channel to be taken down. That's why I can't show you any gameplay at all of this game. But as you can see here, the game is detected in your drinks and you can play it easily as long as you have followed all the steps that I've shown you in this guide. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of Sonic X Shadow Generations and Ujinx Emulator into my PC, then be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them as fast as I can. So please subscribe to my channel because that will help me out. Thank you for watching. See you next time and goodbye for now.